With all the experience that went into these ships, with all the experience that Lundblad as a company has, all the experience we have amongst our teams, we have been able to create the perfect polar exploration vessel. My name is Martin Grasser. I'm the captain of the National Geographic Resolution, which is one of the very few Polar Class 5 A-class ice-breaking cruise ships in the world. The National Geographic Endurance and the Resolution are very innovative ships. Ice classes are defined by four major things. Hull strengthening. You need a strong, powerful hull to actually push through ice. You also need a certain amount of propulsion power. That's why icebreakers are high-powered ships. Then you need to reinforce your rudders and propellers because they have to be able to withstand impact. And then, finally, you, we are talking about polar surface temperature. The lower the polar surface temperature, the higher your ice class has to be. Polar Class 5 ice rating actually allows us to operate year-round in polar waters and to come earlier, to leave later in the polar regions, to go further, to go away from the crowds. Not only that we see ice and we have that excitement to push through ice and get the real experience of being in a polar environment, but we also see much more wildlife because the wildlife is hanging out on the ice. The National Geographic Endurance and the Resolution don't only have the ice class as innovation, but they also have the patented X-Bow. And what does the X-Bow do and how does it work? Well, a traditional bow has very blunt angles. And so when the ship pitches and goes into rough seas, the volume increase in the bow is very rapid and that creates slamming. But well, the X-Bow is a completely different design. It has uh, much sharper angles in the bow. And so when the ship actually pitches in, the water envelops the bow. It's basically mimicking marine mammals. The biggest asset of that bow form is that you go very smoothly through rough seas. With a propulsion called Atsipods, that's basically electric engines hanging in pods underneath the ship. And you can turn those propellers or pods 360 degrees. That gives you enormous advantages when you're in ice. You can wash yourself out, you can break the ice, use the propulsion and actually turn the ship back around. Lindblad Expeditions involves their ship's captains in the design of the ship. When we received the first plans of the bridge, I thought this was not the best ergonomical way to actually operate a bridge. I tried to come up with an ergonomical concept so that the ship can be driven from one chair without getting up and without moving around. The final result is actually something much more ergonomical than most ship's bridges are. It looks completely different and our guests love it as well. I'm incredibly proud of the progress that we have made and all the innovation that has happened. It's always been my dream to be on a very capable expedition ship and I think this is as capable as it gets.